Give a warm welcome to Andrew Smolik. Thank you, Todd. I believe that's on, right? Yes. Great, great. Yeah, so like Todd said, my name is Andrew Smolik. I'm a senior associate at the Missouri Technology Corporation. We don't quite give away money. It's not, not quite that easy. Uh, I, I don't know that the General Assembly would be happy if we did that. But, um, so I'm going to talk about three things today. I'm going to talk a little bit about what we are as an organization, the Missouri Technology Corporation, the programs that we offer to provide direct support uh, in the form of capital infusions into startups, uh, and then finally, I'm going to end with some uh, examples of portfolio companies, companies that we have supported uh, that are early success stories. Uh, and these are companies that are very similar uh, to what you're going to hear from uh, today who are going to be pitching uh, right after me. So, the Missouri Technology Corporation is a public-private partnership that was created by the Missouri General Assembly to provide direct support to entrepreneurs within Missouri. Uh, we do this through direct capital support to startups, uh, and also to providing uh, capital support to any entity that wants to uh, help to grow the entrepreneurial ecosystem uh, within a region. Our focus is on 21st century bioscience industries related to Missouri's rich history and agriculture. Uh, we have a board of directors that oversees the operations of our organization. Uh, this board consists of members that were appointed by the, the governor of Missouri, uh, currently Governor Nixon. Uh, these individuals all have his, uh, me, a background in venture capital, entrepreneurship, and economic development. Also, there's a member from the Missouri Senate and the Missouri House of Representatives who sits on the board and the director of the Department of Economic Development. Right here are five of our key focus areas uh, for NTC. Um, sorry, there's going to be some acronyms. I know that there was just kind of a joke about that in the last, last speaker. Um, the state government loves acronyms. So um, here are five key focus areas. Animal health, applied engineering, biomedical science, defense and homeland security, and plant science. And if you think about it, if you look across the state of Missouri, you can really see some, some companies that have started in Missouri uh, and grown in Missouri and become real leaders within the state in each of these, uh, these areas. Animal health, right now we're sitting in the middle of the Kansas City Animal Health Corridor that runs up to St. Joe, over Manhattan, and then also over to Columbia, Missouri, uh, where a third of global animal health uh, business takes place. It's initiated right here in the Animal Health Corridor. Applied engineering, think of firms like Emerson uh, in, in St. Louis. Uh, this encompasses other things such as IT um, and, and social media, which we also invest in. Biomedical science, St. Louis has a, a rich history of, of being a pharmaceutical development uh, region. Um, and Kansas City has a rich history of, of uh, having contract research organizations right here. Um, defense and Homeland Security, companies like McDonald Douglas, now Boeing. Plant Science, uh, companies like Monsanto, and the University of Missouri, and all the research that's coming out of the University of Missouri and being commercialized within that, that region. So I'd like to move into how NTC can help you as an entrepreneur to grow your startup, or if you have clients who are entrepreneurs, how you can direct them to us to provide, uh, so that we can provide some, some direct support for those the startups. Uh, the Missouri Idea Funds were launched on March 22nd, 2011 by Missouri Governor Jay Nixon when he announced the $21 million Idea Seed and Venture Capital Funds initiative uh, to provide support to, to startups and high-tech companies. To date, we have done four competitive rounds of funding with 160 applications being received by MTC uh, for over $107 million in co-investment funds being requested. So as you can see, there is no lack of demand for startup capital within Missouri. We have a strong entrepreneurial base going on right here in the states, right here in Kansas City. Uh, the Kauffman Foundation just down the street recently announced that Missouri was sixth in the nation in terms of entrepreneurial activity. So it's all taking place right here. So all this talk is had today about how Missouri is a great place to be whenever you want to do a startup. Kansas City is the place to be for a startup. It's true. It's being validated by outside sources like the Kauffman Foundation. Um, to, to go forward, we've had 57 authorized projects, totaling 17.5 million in idea funds being allocated to these projects. 27 of these have closed today, with approximately $8 million being directly input into these companies. Uh, leveraging capital in excess of $19.6 million. Right here are the 
four buckets of funding, and this kind of goes along with, uh, with what Michelle said earlier about the, the different levels of early stage capital that can go into companies, and, and we follow that as well. Uh, I think our numbers are slightly different than hers. Uh, Missouri Tech Launch is our earliest uh, of the early stage capital support programs. We call that our pre-seed stage funding. Uh, the maximum award for a Tech Launch uh, award would be $100,000, and then it keeps running through the, uh, the spectrum of early stage companies, seed capital, venture capital, and the high tech industrial expansion program, which is used to help companies who want to grow their advanced manufacturing facilities within Missouri or grow their footprint in the state of Missouri. Here's some of the criteria, the broad criteria for idea eligibility, that a company has applied to the state appropriate financing, that they have experienced leadership or mentors within the uh, technology or space in which they're, they're entering. Uh, that they have some experience in commercializing a product. It doesn't have to necessarily be the type of product they are commercializing at that time, but it could be any product. And matching funds, that's a big one. We require that companies have a one-to-one -one match of private third-party capital come alongside any MTC award. Also, we look for companies that have a viable plan for follow-on financing or sustainability. Here's some examples of what the funds can be used for uh, as, they, as the company goes forward with the award. Uh, and these awards can be issued as low interest debt, convertible debt, or equity. We generally follow whatever the financial terms of the, the private third party investor is, so long as that investor uh, is coming in at an arm's length transaction. This is the review process for all applicants who go through the, the entire funding process. So it starts out with an application uh, by the startup to a TC or funding. We have applications that open on a quarterly basis. After that application is received by MTC, all applicants for that quarter are reviewed by staff internally. Uh, the, the scoring is then done of these applications where it is a competitive scoring process. The top applicants rise to the, uh, the investment committee process uh, where the applicants are then given the opportunity to do an in-person pitch in front of the investment committee, which is a subset of our overall board of directors. These uh, the companies that then pitch in front of the investment committee are reviewed by the investment committee and a recommendation for funding is, is given based on uh, what the, the investment committee has seen and what staff has seen to date. These are, recommendations are then taken to the full board for consideration. Once the full board has approved a recommendation, then staff goes forward with going through the entire due diligence process for these companies, uh, coming to definitive terms on deal documents, ultimately closing the award and putting money into the startup's hands. The recipients of funding from Missouri Technology Corporation report on outcomes for 10 years. These outcomes are things like job growth, wage growth, taxes paid, uh, all economic development measures. Uh, and also contract compliance uh, and the outcomes are monitored by our investment committee. Now to my final segment, talk about some of the companies that have come through the MTC process and what we really view as some of our early success stories. So Turnigen, as Brett Bland spoke about earlier today with uh, the University of Missouri, the commercialization process there, Turnigen was a technology that was developed, uh, the, the company was developed at the University of Missouri, the technology within the company was also developed there. It is a dermal filler that is used through the engineering of gold nanoparticles that act as a microbial agent and also uh, as an anti-inflammatory agent for a dermal filler uh, for things like uh, whenever you want to regenerate skin tissue around the wound or uh, to reduce signs of aging, things like that. Detergent came through the, the Tech Launch Program, received an award. Since receiving the award, Detergent has been able to enhance its research partnerships and has recruited a, a key board member, an individual who's a leader in the dermal filler space uh, out of Sweden was brought on the, the chairman of the board for Detergent. Meta Beacon has come through both the Tech Launch and Seed Capital Co-Investment Programs to receive awards this is an optical diagnosis company out of St. Louis, Missouri, that is currently uh, developing a real-time renal function monitor that can be used at, at the point of care. Uh, and this is a truly disruptive technology because the current uh, process for monitoring kidney function in patients has a significant time delay and is also inaccurate and in varying on what the, uh, the weight of the patient is, what the body mass of the patient may be. This, this optical diagnostics tool that they're developing uh, has the ability to truly improve patients' lives by, by monitoring the uh, kidney functions more accurately. Since receiving the awards, MetaBeacon has been able to make key strategic hires, accelerate its funding efforts, and is currently executing on achieving FDA approval uh, as we speak. <coughs> Lockerdome, another company out of St. Louis that went through the venture capital co-investment program, 
This is a social media company that is focused on your sports life. So they say Facebook is your personal life, LinkedIn is your professional life, well, Locker Dome is going to be your sports life. Since receiving uh, Venture Capital Co. Investment Award, Locker Dome has gone from 10,000 monthly uniques to nearly 3 million mon monthly uniques, and we're talking about a period of, of six months that this has occurred. Uh, they partnered with 26 of the top sports agencies, received multiple awards, including St. Louis Business of the Year. Uh, they've also been featured in the Atlantic. Uh, they've been featured on Cadillac commercials as well. Um, Locker Dome is currently on track to be one of the 10 largest sports properties in the nation uh, within the next 12 to 18 months. And other members of that, that realm include CBS Sports, uh, Yahoo Sports, ESPN, things like that. And lastly, Chlorophyll. Uh, came through and got the High Tech Industrial Expansion Award. This is a company out of San Diego, California, that had a that had intellectual property around uh, renewable sorghum-based green building materials that use no formaldehyde and no carcinogenic materials uh, in, in developing this, this material. It's a high-end building product that's going to be competing with bamboo products. Um, this company was looking around the nation, saying, "Where am I going to set up my manufacturing facilities?" They decided to set it up right here in the Heartland. Uh, at the Nottoway County, just north of us in Maryville, uh, where they're going to be, uh, be building these, these green building materials. Since receiving the award, Chlorophyll has initiated construction on its advanced manufacturing facility in Nottoway County uh, and made key hires in connection with uh, commercializing the product offerings. We have an application period that opens on January 2nd, closes on February 1st. So, you entrepreneurs out there, if you're interested in growing your small business in Missouri, uh, please apply. Uh, the investment committee review will be on March 4th, uh, where you'll be given the opportunity to do an in-person pitch. That will be in Columbia, Missouri. The board of directors will review it on April 22nd, 2013. Uh, applications can be found on our website. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to grab me on the call. Good information. We're looking for uh, funding sources and to get your business launched that way. Now begins our five-minute presentations, and these are presentations by folks that have new ideas, things that new businesses are starting to develop.